Well, I hope they're excited. Yes. Are you excited about the new school? I am excited about the new school. Okay, and why are you excited? You teach music here, right? I teach uh, fifth and sixth grade music, general music, and chorus. And, um, you know, after the floods and after the devastation to our old building, I just think this is going to be a real plus for our students. Um, I think especially with the sound issues we faced at this at this mall location, people are going to be really excited to get into regular classrooms again and really sort of get things back to normal and back to the way we do things at Waverly Shell Rock. Um, and I think for a community that's very supportive of education, um, to have this new facility is going to be a wonderful thing, not only for now, but for the future for a long time. What does it mean for your specific uh, subject matter, which is music? Um, well, my biggest hope as far as getting a different room is just more space. Um, the kids, the fifth and sixth grade kids do a lot of movement. Mm -hmm. And um, I've never, you know, in 10 years here, I've never really had a room that's been big enough yet for the space that we need. So um, that will be the biggest thing for me. But of course, having a new facility will just be wonderful. And you said you worked here for 10 years? Yep, this is my 10th year this year. So really, in, in a way, the flood was a blessing in disguise because if it had not been for the flood, you would not have moved and, and perhaps not even built a new school. Well, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't. I mean, I was going to be moved to a portable. I was going into one of the portables that was over at Irving. Um, however, because I was moving, that's why I lost all my equipment because of the flood. Everything was on the floor, packed up to move. So when, I, when the flood happened, I lost all of these instruments. I mean, all of this has been replaced through grant money and um, donations from the courier and from music stores and things like that. So, but yeah, I mean, the facility itself, I mean, it will be much better than what I was going to be in. What is your name? Aaron Hansen. Aaron Hansen. Yep. Thank you, Aaron. You're Appreciate your help. Thank you. Critical engaged person. Okay, so this is one of the classrooms, right? And what 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 uh, grade is this classroom for? This is a, a you call it a self-contained special ed. Mm -hmm. A self-contained special ed classroom. Mm -hmm. And so one of the issues in this in this. The kids go on up to oh, that's right. They do. Okay, but one of the issues in this in this building, of course, has been the issue of. Of, um, because it's really a, re a revamped mall, right? It, the, the, the space is a warehouse, um, remodeled warehouse space. And one of the issues is, of course, um, not being able to um, have quiet time right. and just any kind of privacy here. Because most of the walls do not reach the, in fact, all of the walls do not reach the, the ceiling, right? Mm -hmm. um, okay. It is. The the sound um, has been a huge factor in not only teaching, um, but the learning environment mm -hmm. and the privacy thing has, has been a huge thing. Um, putting up the tarps, as we call them, I guess, uh, has been a huge improvement, but it is still far from um, a, a normal classroom setting, mm -hmm. I would say. And that's, that's just coming from a substitute teacher that comes in and out of mm -hmm. the building. and. Um, I obviously don't have to be in it every day, but it is a huge factor in um, just something of a huge adjustment that everybody's had to get used to, me included. Mm -hmm. so. Now, what did you think of the, did you, were you thinking that the referendum was going to pass? What were your thoughts on the referendum about the new school? Um, definitely needed. Um, I sub a lot in the junior high too, so I have been in that building too. It wasn't in, um, as dire need, I guess, for the junior high as it was for this building, but um, I can see them being proactive. If you're going to build a new building, you might as well incorporate the seventh and eighth graders uh, instead of put more money into that junior high building. So, so today you're happy. I'm happy. Can I really state my opinion? I'm yes. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm happy. I'm not happy that our property taxes are going to go up. But mm -hmm. I did vote yes because uh, we do need a new building. But mm -hmm. I am not happy with the fact that um, we could maybe use the sales tax money and bring the, the bond levy down. Um, but that's fine. We need a new building, so I did vote yes. Now, what, how, by, by how much are the property taxes going up? Do you know? Um, there is a calculation on the website that you can go and figure it out. And for us, um, for my family, it would be about $200 more a year. A year. Mm -hmm. 
but but on balance you think it's worth it obviously because you vote you had to vote one way or the other right right so, so yeah and, and of course i have more of a vested interest than maybe the general public because i'm a substitute teacher i have to work in this building i have to i'll get to work in the new building so that was a it's a perk for me <laughs> Okay, and you're Chris Burnkhorst? Yes. And you're a substitute teacher, right? Yes. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate the help. Thanks. Bye-bye.